Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today I will, will be giving my two month ownership review of a 2018 Honda Civic LX. Now, as I said, I did a review on this car, so please make sure to go check it up. I'll link it in the description and you'll probably see a pop up on the screen. But I will actually be telling you what it is, how it is to actually own this type of car for two months. Now I wanted to do two months because I feel like one month isn't enough to really get to know the car through everything, you know? So I'm really confident that two months is gonna give me exactly the knowledge to tell you about what, how it is to actually drive this car every day. Now this is gonna be a shorter video than normal. I mean, it's a Honda Civic. It's nothing too exciting, but it really actually is a great car and I'm really happy with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in, I'm gonna drive around, and while I'm driving around, I will be telling you all about it, how about, all about the driving experience, the commuting every day, and how it really is on gas, on gas and on everything, and if is it any fun to drive, and basically I'll, I'll be doing that all that while driving, so let's go on the road. All right, so now I'm gonna to talk to you about this car. So this is a 2018 Honda Civic LX. So it's the second trim level. You have DX, which is really basic, and then you have the LX. And what the LX gives you pretty much more than the DX is air conditioning. That's really the big, big thing. And the dealer told me that they don't even sell DX. People go give the extra dollar to get air conditioning. And that's why DX is barely sold and the DX is, only comes with a manual transmission and then LX you get the option of automatic transmission. I still took the manual transmission and uh, I mean I love driving manual. I'm in the cities a lot and I know I'm stuck in traffic and you know for that part I'm not really fond of but for the rest I mean driving on the back road like I did in my review that's fun. And that's what brings the fun out of this car because it's not supposed to be fun. And yet, um, when you buy it manual, it's still pretty fun because you're controlling the gears. And you're just letting you guys, guys know, I'm not a true, uh, I'm not a purist guy who wants to drive a manual. You know, I never have driven a manual before I got this car. But um, getting a manual is, was really fun. I mean, it, it's changed the experience of the drive, no matter which car. I mean, for sure, if I had a Porsche, Porsche 911 or something with a stick shift, that would be way more fun than this thing. But still, it's not boring as a normal Honda Civic would be. But yet, this car is not made to be fun. It's a commuter, and that's what I use it for. It just does what it has to do. So now I'm gonna list a few things that I hate about the car. As I said in my uh, reviewing video, the stick shift positioning is really good, you know, to shift. And the problem is um, where the heated seat buttons are, sometimes uh, I activate them. <laughs> and you know, when it's 80 degrees outside and you activate your heated seats, well, it's not really fun and you know it happened to me so many times I can't even count them on my fingers anymore it happened so many times and I know this is it's just really one thing about the design of the buttons that I absolutely hate got that ran out of the system let's name let's name something else that I don't like what else do I don't like well I don't like that there's no volume knob on for the stereo that is something I really don't like. I heard that in 2019, I think they implemented it. Um, so, you know, I just bought the wrong car, basically. But, <laughs> really, it's because it's so laggy that you have to slide your finger. I, I just do it with my steering wheel, to be honest. But my every time a passenger comes in the car <laughs> and they want to turn up the radio, they turn the, the temperature up. I mean, because right under the radio screen, you have a knob for the temperature. And people automatically see knob, stereo, volume, right? Well, no, it's a slider, and I keep telling them. But, I mean, it's just people don't realize. Knobs have been working since the car was invented, or at least since the car had a radio. I mean, don't reinvent the wheel, please. 
But, you know, to be honest, those are really the main two things. The other thing is, you know, I drive a lot of cars. <laughs> and, you know, this is my car. And, um, you know, after a long time of driving fast, cool cars, this honestly feels slow. And it is slow. 158 horsepower. Uh, it's not fast. Oh, boy, is it not fast. Manual helps a little bit with the kick. You know, you feel like you have more power than you actually do, but you don't. Uh, so I would honestly like that the uh, base model has more power, but you know, they have a lot of engines. They have the 1.5 liter turbo with 205 horsepower, and they have the Civic Type R, which has 206 horsepower, but you go in big money there. And I understand that, you know, if you're paying $22,000 for a car, um, you're not gonna expect a whole lot of power, you know? It's not something that you uh, are gonna want because it's not something that they're gonna give you. But you know, I've the Honda and their engines are super tough, reliable. This is a V uh, VTEC engine, inline four. Uh, great engine, you know, I, I've heard a lot of good things about it. But you know, sometimes I wish I had more power, but you know, this car is not made to go fast, it's just made to be functional and work correctly. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna start with things I love. I love that a 2018 Honda Civic comes standard with heated seats, a, uh, a, a four or five inch display uh, with touchscreen, Apple, uh, Apple CarPlay and everything standard. I love that that is standard. Economy car is becoming not an economy car, but a more affordable car with all the same features. And yes, you don't get the brand name, brand name of Audi or Mercedes, BMW, all those types of things. But, I mean, if you're, you're paying the fraction of the price uh, to get the same features and more reliability, that's, that's what you get. I mean, and okay, yeah, sure, people see, oh, he drives a Honda, he doesn't drive a BMW, the image, but if you don't care about the image, why even bother? Honestly, why bother? And uh, one last thing that I like about this car is this, it's overall, you know, it really, really is a great car overall. And I really like it a lot, like a lot, a lot. It's really good on fuel economy. There <laughs> is really good, I mean, it cost me, you know, gas prices in Canada, they go by a liter. And a liter usually of just ordinary gas, 87 octane, let's just say at your Shell, Shell uh, gas station, yeah, you know, you're looking at around uh, 139 a liter, 140 a liter. And when this car is empty, I, I go up to 35, 40 dollars. But one tank can make me go 500 kilometers, which is great. <laughs> so, and I have eco mode, this car, doesn't drink a lot it's not a thirsty vehicle and that's good a little budget on gas and you know this car is <laughs> comfortable I mean I went on the highway a lot and you know the wind rush isn't there all that much there's not that much wind rush I would have bought an older Honda Civic maybe it would have bothered me a little bit more because they weren't all that nice but now they're very nice cars you have the touring version, which you know you have LED headlights, um, you have leather interior or leather red, you know, but still a nicer interior. You know, you, you got uh, all the tech features. You have blind spot monitoring, cru radar cruise control, uh, you know, forward collision warning, all those features. And I've heard that at some point Honda, their objective is to bring those features oops, standard standard in all their vehicles. Hate about the car, so let's recap. The heated seat button positioning, um, the no volume knob, that's main hell. I would like a little more power, but you know, I get what I pay for. And what I like, I like the look of the front. I think the back is a little weird, but I like the look of the car overall. Um, I like the interior quality still for what it is. Uh, I like <laughs> I like the standard features that they give you. The fuel economy is great. Uh, the, it's still very comfortable. Wind rush doesn't drive you crazy, and it's really just a good overall vehicle, which I highly recommend to a lot of people. 
All right, so this is going to conclude our video. So, as I said, this car is a great car, all around good car. I mean, it's a very economical. It's if that's what you're looking into a car, I wouldn't hesitate to go buy one. I wouldn't hesitate to go buy one either way. I mean, you can have a commuter and you can have a sports car. By purchasing a commuter like that, you ignore all the problems and it's cheap to maintain and it's a great car. It really is. It's smooth, it's comfortable, it's still really well insulated inside. And you know, it's still 22.5 equipped like this one is, but still, in Canadian dollars, but still, it is a really good car. And if you're considering it, I wouldn't hesitate. We all know Honda Civics, they're an icon almost. It's the car that everybody buys and that you see a lot a lot a lot where i live maybe not as much but you know on the street you turn around and you almost constantly see one i am on the highway i can count at least 25 30 in a 40 kilometer distance it's they're really present and why because they're great cars and they're available in every shape or form you know there's a coupe there's a sport version there's a hatchback the four-door sedan there are so many options that everybody can have their own pick but you know, I'm really happy with this car. I had no problem. Of course, I've had it for two months, but I have had zero problems with it. And it's a great car. I can't emphasize that enough. It really is a good car. And after living it for two months, I can honestly tell you that I wouldn't see why having a good car. I want a sports car, of course. But for now, I mean, I'm very happy with this car. And there'll be more videos coming up on modifications and everything. But you know, where I live, winter's coming. And I don't want to start that in winter. I, I'm going to leave it in this shape. Uh, I'm going to buy new wheels in spring and probably do a, a few tuning things. I want to see if I could bring up the horsepower a little bit. 158 isn't super duper. I would like a little more, at least 200. But uh, we'll see. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.